Hi. Let's take a few minutes and talk about just what is and isn't acceptable forms of evidence that can be used against you. Did you know that things that you post in a forum or a chat room, in addition, your Facebook posts and comments, your photos, many people knew or know that emails, texts can be used, but your tweets can too. So you need to take time and think before you post. Just because you feel or think that you've hidden or deleted the comments, that they're not acceptable, well, they still show up in search engines. Also, with the chat rooms and forums, many people think that because they're private or membership only, that they can't be. Well, my website, divorceandscaredmemore.com, we only keep our chat rooms or forums open when they're needed. Other than that, I have them closed down. As soon as we finish with whatever they're needed for, I delete the things. But the problem is many websites like mine have an automatic backup system. And when things are backed up, my website does a seven-day backup. So the first day, you know, everything's on there, and then it processes until seven days, and then the oldest one's deleted, and the new day takes over. Even though I have deleted the things, people still could subpoena in court and make me produce a copy of it. Likewise, there have also been people known to have been another person in the chat room, and this has not happened on my side, but I do know of a person that it did happen to, that the ex was taking photographs of the chat room and videotaping it in addition. This evidence was accepted in court. Things were twisted and not quite the way she wanted them to be represented. She was kind of blowing off a little bit of steam. Eh, not a good idea. So please, if you are in a chat room, anything like that, remember these things can be found. On Facebook, deleting and hiding a comment, it still shows up in search engines. So you need to make sure that you don't post anything ever that you don't want to be seen. Needless to say, if you're drinking, turn off the social media and don't post anything at all. You need to also go through your friends list, remove anyone that you don't know or you haven't had contact with. Don't accept new friends that you don't know. If you're newly dating somebody, it's not wise to have them on your friends list. You don't want them to know about your children and your family. Use the privacy settings. Make sure that every photograph, any comment that is made about you, you approve it before it gets posted. It's a little extra effort, but it's really worth the time. The other thing is don't air your dirty laundry. Block your ex. You know, you don't need them knowing everything you're doing. Get rid of your geotagging. You don't need that. People don't need to know where you go or what you do. Stalkers can find this information. You don't want them to know personal information about your children or your family. And make sure that every once in a while you do a search. Just make sure there's no new accounts because some exes have been known to make accounts and post things in your name. Last, if anyone ever threatens you in any way, shape, or form, not only block them and delete them off your lists, but also report them so that if it's Facebook, they know that this person is harassing you. Well, happy surfing, and please be careful with whatever you post, because it might be important for your child custody, or alimony, or just settling the divorce. Have a good day. Bye-bye.